and that's telling you 70. What the hell is it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. But uh, the ones who have written the exams yes. are the first ones who have first sat on these desks. Ah, and, the yes, less than the eight who are going to for months. Yes, yes. 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 and uh, yes. 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 And, yes. 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 Our school is surrounded 
lady. Why? A big fence. Isn't it boys and girls? Yeah. Can you clap us for them, please? Thank you very much. At the first, the security was loose. Our learners, <laughs> especially the girls, were being beaten by outsiders. But with the presence of the fence and the gate, those intruders, whenever they wish to come, they become frightened. Oh, if we go there, it means the head teacher and the staff and the school committee, PTA, are going to catch us. So there is a security which has been set. Oh, this security is there because of your assistance. For this, we thank you very much. And not only the construction of the things which you have done, you have done a lot of developments at this, at this school. For example, uh, during midweek, as we conduct lessons with our learners here, there is also a program which we made together with the teachers from St. Andrews. Mr. Wallace can witness me. They come here and teach our learners. These learners, they are learning a lot of skills from St. Andrews. They are taught how to play football, how to play netball, all sporting activities. Not only all sporting activities, but also they do enter in the classes and teach them academic lessons, which boost them in their education. So what you are doing here at Nyambare Lions Primary School is remarkable. We thank you very much for this. Fine. Uh, on top of that, they are numerous. On top of, of that, for this auspicious occasion, where we are here for, you've come here to hand over the two classroom blocks, which the St. Andrews High School has renovated for us. You are making the environment to be conducive to our learners. In those classroom blocks, what you have done is remarkable. You have painted the walls, they were dark, but they are bright now. You have painted the walls, even if the chalkboard was rough, whenever our teachers want to teach the, our learners, they were having some problems of roughness of the chalkboard. But you have smoothened the chalkboard. Now it is soft. It is making the work easier. Not only that as well, if we go in the classrooms, there are soft boards. The soft boards have been innovated. They are looking very beautiful. And our teachers, they do write teaching and learning materials on the chart. Whenever they have imparted the lesson to the learners, they took that teaching and learning material on a chart and placed it on the soft board so that the learners should not forget what they have learned. So what you have done is quite remarkable. Thanks a lot. I want to thank you, Mr. Kevin, for the job you have done here. We have seen those two classrooms. They are very beautiful. And our children who are in standard eight, they are going to enjoy their education here. Uh, some people have already said that uh, this school was opened some time back. Of course, I can call it was open in 1974. It is a long time. But we have done a good job. I've been told here that even the fence here was stood by the Andrew High School. This is very remarkable. Let me ask you, Mr. Smith, to convey our things. The school which is in UK for the job well done. And let me thank you as well. Because that school doesn't know about the Yaman Primary School, but it's still in the school and Mr. Wallace. And my colleague, Mr. Wallace, that Mr. Wallace, Mr. Wallace, he knows our school.
prepare you at one time. Because here we don't know. <laughs> uh, my plea to the head teacher of this place is to go Please make sure we have your money for the team to look after us. Once you do that, these people will still support you. But once they come here and see that those blocks are too dead, definitely they'll stop. But make sure that the desks, the classrooms are looking nice. With these fuel bags, they do that before. They do not I'm very pleased and proud to come here uh, to, your, to your fantastic schools. Um, I was first in Malawi in the year 2000 before any of you were born and Mr. Walassi was my colleague in mathematics. I was teaching mathematics with Mr. Walassi. And then in 2002 I left to go back to England and I joined a school called Balkara School as a mathematics teacher. The name I'll say again, it's Baal Karas School. Baal Karas, yeah. It's in um, the southwest of England, um, and almost all of the children there are English. Um, so it's not an international school, just an English school. And I was there for six years, and then I moved to another school before coming back in 2014 to, uh, to meet Mr. Walassi and to become head teacher in 2015. So I've journeyed around and I've taught in different places. Your school is very special and I, I'm so pleased that I had a chance to speak to those teachers in my school in England and tell them about your school. They talked to me and they said, please, please, we'd like to give some money to charity. Do you have an idea? Now, Mr. Wallace said to me, I know exactly the place we should come. Our neighbours near Badway Primary School. You guys. And about six months ago, we talked to the head teacher and we worked out the best way to start was to look at the classrooms here, put furniture, make them looking really nice. But that is just number one. And I promise there will be number two, number three, number four going on. It's a long project to make your school even better. And your head teacher did mention the toilets. Of course, that is a big priority for us. And electricity will make sure that happens very, very soon, okay? That's a promise from us. Um, Mr. Angeletti today is recording this ceremony, and we will send all of the ceremony to the children in England, and they can see you, and they can see the teachers, and they can see the project, and I hope that they will be inspired to give some more money and to raise more money through charity and send it back here. That is why it's very important that we have today's ceremony to recognise the good work they've done. All we did at St Andrews is make the link. We've now linked you up with that school called Barakaris in, in uh, England. Um, I'm so pleased that you have this facility. I know that the most important thing though for you as young people moving forwards in life is to listen to your teachers, to, take, to come to school every day, to enjoy your education. I know the classrooms, now that they're beautiful, it will help. But the most important people in your lives at school are definitely the hardworking teachers. And I would like to say thank you to them for all the hard work they do. So that's it from me, but I know I'm going to come to speak to you again in the next few months uh, when, we, when we look at number two, which is probably going to be the toilets, and number three, the electricity. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming.
Mosa United. <laughs> their links with us. In fact, um, in the next few months, we're hoping to have some representatives from Barcaras come to Malawi to visit to see the project and hopefully uh, continue to get, get some hands-on experience as well. So it's Barcaras School in the southwest of England who donated the money. They raised um, money through their charitable events and uh, the fairs and um, uniform days, this kind of thing, where people, students bring money and they saved it all up and then they sent it to us and we've been looking after it. Uh, and, well, the actual, um, the main project at the moment is the classrooms, but in the next uh, few weeks we should be emptying the toilets and making those good, uh, and also installing some electricity and some lights for electricity, uh, because at the moment when it's dark nobody can learn, so we want to have this available to people during the early hours and also the evening. So that's the next two 